Hello there guys and welcome to what is going to be a really cool programming tutorial. Um, this tutorial is a Java programming tutorial. It's going to be a GUI programming tutorial. This is not part of our series of Java programming tutorials, but it's actually a very short and cool tutorial. It's going to, we're going to go ahead and create a calculator that will convert uh, degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. I'm uh, sorry, from, from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So to waste no time, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna write our code, then we're gonna then we'll explain it. Also, this will be a two-part tutorial. The first part we're gonna create the GUI, and then second part of the tutorial we're gonna go ahead and put functionality. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new project. Go to new Java project. I'm gonna name one converter, and then hit finish. Now, right here on your package explorer, you. Uh, extend the uh, under the converter folder. Extend that. You will see a source folder. You'll right click on that. Go to new and add a new package. You just call mine YouTube. It doesn't matter. You can call any anything you wish. Then right click on the package and add a new class file. I'm gonna name this converter. And then make sure you click the public static void main so you don't have to type it yourself. If you wish to type it yourself, that's fine as well. Alright. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and import Java X that swing. Next we're gonna go ahead and import Java AWT. And finally go ahead and import Java AWT that event. All right. Next, let's go ahead into our public class converter, and we're gonna say that it extends JFrame. And let's go ahead inside that class and type public converter. And this is gonna be this is our constructor. Inside our constructor, we're gonna go ahead and type set title. And this is where we're gonna create our frame. I'm gonna set the title of the frame. To convert. Next, I'm gonna set the size of the frame to be 200 by 80. Next, let's go ahead and set the location relative. So set location relative to, and then null. Okay. Next, set resize set the resize above the false alright let's go ahead and set the default close operation altogether if you haven't watched uh, uh, our previous and basically our series of Java programming tutorials I suggest you do it will help you understand what I'm typing right now and but if you haven't well, don't worry we'll go over the code so you will understand this as well okay next all we want to do is go outside on cover and what we're gonna do is type private and then we're gonna type um, J text field and then I'm gonna call my text field Next thing, J, I'm going to have a J button. I'm going to call mine convert. You can name these buttons and, and text fields anything you wish. And next, we're going to have two J labels. I'm going to call one uh, Fahrenheit. Oh, uh, Fahrenheit. And then second Celsius. Celsius. I'm gonna make the F here lowercase. It doesn't matter, you can have uppercase. Alright. Then I'll, let's go outside our our public converter. Basically let's go outside our, our constructor but still inside our converter class and we're gonna go ahead and declare a new subclass in there and call it protective class. And I'm gonna call my converter panel. And this class will also extend the J 
the J panel instead of the J frame. And let's go ahead and type public and then converter panel. This is our constructor here. And inside our constructor, we're going to go ahead and type set layout new grid layout inside put 2 comma 2 next what we want to do is we're gonna go ahead and type text field equals new j text field next we're gonna go ahead and type convert equals new j button and label it as convert next we're going to type Fahrenheit and also equals a new J label and we're going to name it Fahrenheit right. and finally our Celsius label Celsius label we're going to set that equal to a new J label Celsius, label it as Celsius. Alright, now that we have done all this, let me move this little bit down so you guys can see. We want to go ahead and basically type add, and we're going to add our first thing is we're going to add our Fahrenheit label to the panel. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our uh, text field. After that, we're gonna add our the button. The, so we're gonna type convert. That's our button. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and add our Celsius label. All right. Now let's go back into our frame, and we're gonna go ahead and type get content pane dot add we're gonna type new and we're gonna type convert converter sorry converter panel that's what we named it so we're basically calling our constructor of our panel class to the to the frame class and then we go we have to go inside our main type new converter which is our frame class which is the constructor of our frame class and then dot set visible so we can actually see what we did and then set that equal to true so if we go ahead and run this we should be able to see our what our calculator is going to look like let me go ahead and build this for you guys there we go so we see our we see our grid layout here is one two three so it has two rows and, and two columns we see our label here Fahrenheit, we ask the user to enter basically something like a Fahrenheit value, like the temperature and once the user clicks on convert we will actually down here uh, on, our, on our second part we will make this function so once somebody hits the convert button this will basically display the um, um, well it will, it will display like in degrees Celsius so uh, anyways let's go ahead of our code very quickly so up here we declared a couple of variables. Um, we declared the J button and J label. Well, two J labels, J button. And then inside our constructor in here uh, in the class, all we did is basically we set the title of the frame. Then uh, we set the size, the location. With the set resizable to false, basically we made it so the user cannot resize and make it maximum or because that that would make the calculator look bad. So. We, s we disable that so he can do that and then here when we set the default op close operation to exit and close it's only so when the user clicks on the X button at the top of the on the on the top right corner of the program it will terminate here we basically set and we're getting the panel and putting it on top of the frame so we can see so we can see our button and you know and our button stuff what we're doing here we set the layout the grid layout basically two rows and two columns then we initializing our, our our labels, buttons, and and text field here, and then we adding it to the panel, so we can actually be able to see it. And then down in our main, all we did is go. Uh, all we did is basically set. 
all we did down here is you see all we did is just called our frame class and set it visible so we can actually see what's going on and that was basically it so this is our first part so stick around for the second part we're gonna actually put functionality and and basically make our calculator work so i hope you like this tutorial guys please subscribe and don't forget to watch the series of java tutorials and all my other videos and please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching please leave comments also thank you guys